the uh, total size is this one 70 70 30 mm. that is uh, static sag plus rider sag is total sag mm-hmm. so 70 in the front mm. 30 at the back okay so you still have space we can make it bigger mm-hmm. right now your static sag it as per measurement it is 5 mm-hmm. you can go another 5 mm-hmm. so uh, so preload adjust here preload adjust നാളെ സസ്പെൻഷൻ്റെ കുറച്ച് വർക്ക് അപ്ഗ്രേഡും ഒക്കെ പറയുമായിരുന്നു നമ്മൾ സ്റ്റോക്ക് തന്നെ അടിക്കുന്നത് അപ്പോൾ ആദ്യം കാര്യമായിട്ടൊന്നും ചെയ്യാനില്ല പിന്നെ പ്രീലോഡ് ഒന്ന് അഡ്ജസ്റ്റ് ചെയ്യാം ഓൾറെഡി ഞാൻ പ്രീലോഡ് അഡ്ജസ്റ്റ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ടായിരുന്നു ഒരു ടു ടു ത്രീ അഡ്ജസ്റ്റ്മെൻറ്റിലോട്ടാണ് ഇപ്പോൾ വരുന്നത് സോ നമ്മുടെ വെയ്റ്റിൻ്റെ ഈ ഒരു എന്താ പറയുക ഡാമ്പിങ്ങിൻ്റെ അടിസ്ഥാനത്തിൽ ഫുള്ളി അഡ്ജസ്റ്റ് ചെയ്യാവുന്ന മാക്സിമം ഒരു റേഞ്ചാണ് ഇപ്പം കാണിച്ച് തന്നത് അപ്പോൾ അതിൻ്റെ രീതിയിൽ നമുക്ക് ചെയ്ത് നോക്കാം നമ്മുടെ സസ്പെൻഷൻ്റെ രണ്ട് സസ്പെൻഷൻ്റെ എല്ലാ ബോൾട്ടുകളും അതുപോലെ തന്നെ ബ്രേക്ക് ആൻഡ് ഡിപ്പൻ്റെ ബോൾട്ടുകളൊക്കെ റീടോർക്ക് ചെയ്യാമെന്ന് ഓവർ ടൈറ്റ്നെസ് ഒരു ഡൗട്ട് ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു അപ്പോൾ അത് ചെയ്യാം പിന്നെ ഇതിൻ്റെ സ്റ്റിഫ്നെസ് കുറച്ച് ഒന്ന് മാറ്റാൻ വേണ്ടി നമുക്കൊന്ന് ഡി സി ഇവിടെ വേണം ഇത് റിമൂവ് ചെയ്തിട്ട് ഇത് എന്തെങ്കിലും ലീക്കും മറ്റു കാര്യങ്ങളൊന്നും കാണുന്നില്ല ഓക്കെ so it sometimes what happens there is like a peak you cannot see okay so what like the fork has to be parallel like at shoulder uh-huh. so when they install it and uh, hit it with uh, something to force the axle to go through okay that what happens slightly the fork will tweak so when it tweaks what happens your brake feel will go vehicle straight line stability will go and sometimes when you start turning the bike will feel one side it turns better other side it won't turn will have like asymmetrical kind of uh, feel will be comfortable if you are a existing rider you got used to it you wouldn't know so i was telling that like your bike feels very odd to ride because at what that's how i told you the handlebar whether you change the height because uh, uh, uh. it right feels inside and uh. down left is long oh. so these symptoms come in two places once you change the tire uh. when you do the fork switch okay. you have done both <laughs> yeah if this is accessible in hand you can see a whole lot more detailed dirt okay this is just like cleaning the chimney with a brush <laughs> okay you know you do it must once you go for a rain ride okay or water wash uh, at least uh, in a month month You do it lightly don't overdo it <laughs> because everything has its limit okay that the outer seal yes the outer seal we call it the dust seal uh, we can remove it from uh, there straight huh so we don't want to remove the entire fork for removing this one you know you just pulling it down okay to clean see how it is ഹിയർ 
it is bad for you that's why you're complaining your harshness okay this is one of the problem okay it is me i see how much effort i have to do okay now i have put i have put the ring back okay. see even turning it is so hard okay because there's no grease it's grabbing okay uh, like eraser mm -hmm. you put force it has a grip uh, it should be opposite of that friction should be less it should move smooth mm -hmm. so your one of your why your fork is harsh found out so we'll see This is friction one. Okay. It's not sliding. You see, mm -hmm. I should be able to easily pull it down. Mm -hmm. It's still resisting. I think this is the uh, maximum getting yeah. down. This the portion ah. in this box. Yeah, that's one is because of the friction. Mm. If you keep continuing like this, after one time the seal will give up. Okay. When it is, we have only time will say. So your yeah, friction is the problem where you are getting complaining that why it is harsh. Take care, take care. Is this a special tool for this one? Uh, this is plastic, so you won't damage anything. Uh -huh, okay, okay. So, want to remove this one first? No, no, I don't know. As a design to keep that, uh, what do you call it? Give it a certain tightness. Uh -huh. Like elastic on the pant or oh. shorts. Mm -hmm. Too big. Okay. Now your actual seal is here. Mm -hmm. That is the next friction. Mm -hmm. There's the one which prevents the oil from coming through. Okay. So you have to see whether that uh, grease. There is a lip inside the seal. Okay. That once that dries up, mm. it, it won't become, come. It won't, it won't come move down. smoothly okay. or easily. Oh. Okay. That's working better. It's much better. <laughs> yeah. So your problem was one. Mm -hmm. Two. Simple. Mm. <laughs> But the lower one, yeah. middle one, the higher one. <laughs> no problem over here. See, it's yeah, simply it's moving. So while while, while uh, first time visiting you did not even move. I had to push it down. Uh -huh. Now you see this. Is there slight? Is there? Uh -huh. But this was the problem for us. Uh -huh. So that seal is dried up uh -huh. because you are using it less. Okay. And because you are using less, the oil and that would have dried up. Okay. And progressively, the oil won't. Uh, sorry, the grease would have dried up, mm -hmm. and it will start creating uh, friction. Uh huh. That is uh, friction plus uh, uh, sticking. Okay. Friction, okay. not an actual word. <laughs>